Hi guys, welcome to Watch Out Crypto. I am Alan Chang. Let's get started. Investors are concerned about the high inflation and the future economy not going as well as expected, plus the drop down of the US stocks affecting the crypto market. Also, the crash of Tira USD is creating a really tense market vibe for cryptocurrency. In today's episode, let's find out what is actually going on. First of all, let's look at Bitcoin. This is a 15 minute candle chart for Bitcoin. As we can see, after we mentioned when the volume spiked over 200k yesterday, Bitcoin did create a bullish trend. And right now, it's facing some pressure and going through consolidation, which is totally normal because every trend has to go through a spiral escalation or a wave like uplift. And here's the daily candle chart. As we can see, yes, for yesterday, Bitcoin actually closed as a doji candlestick a doji candlestick is actually an indicator to determine the trend is gonna stop or reverse and we can also see the RSI is crossing at the bottom and here's ethereum so we can see ethereum has similar pattern as bitcoin it also went bullish after the volume spiked up and going through a consolidation at this point of time Here's UST, so we can see UST is still way off. The good news is the peg of the USDT actually came back. USDT is actually totally different than UST, but UST was creating a too much of panic for the market, which kind of affected it. But as we can see right now, it's totally normal. And as we can see, Luna, Luna is still at the bottom. According to the news, the Terra blockchain officially halted the chain operation at a block height of 7,603,700 in anticipation of the government's attack of the Luna plunges over 99%. Binance also made a certain adjustment that there will be only Luna, BUSD, and UST, BUSD. Terra Builder Alliances sent out the Luna Go Forward proposal that Terra relaunches to honor existing UST holders and loyal Luna holders. The new Luna will be distributed in consideration of four methods. Number one, 40% Luna to Luna stakers at the same time of UST attack initiate at May 9th. Number two, 40% to UST holders at the time of new network launch. Number three, 10% to marginal Luna holders between the attack and the halt. Finally, 10% to ecosystem developers such as dApps, service providers, infrastructure providers, and etc. There are different voices on this proposal. Some investors actually are actually quite satisfied, but there are also investors who don't think they can agree on this without the mechanism because it might put everyone in the worst position possible if they decided to transfer. Overall, Bitcoin and Ethereum have rebounded, but they are both facing pressure. It might be building up momentum for a strong leap. Everyone should know that every bullish trend is built up by spiral escalation or wave like uplift. Thank you for watching Watch Out Crypto. I am Alan Chang. I'll see you next time.